Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sound We Make. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Midnight Sky beat by Miley Cyrus. I have this project here. I'm gonna walk you through track by track and show you what I did. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you the intro part of this song, which is also the most recognizable part of this beat. And later I'm gonna show you the chorus part. So let's listen first. I've opened this project already and let's go through drums first. So I'm gonna show you this kick. Okay, so the next thing I added was this snare. It's from Logic's plugin called Drum Kit. Only thing I did, I added this uh, plugin called Enveloper to make the snare a little bit shorter so that it matches the original track. Okay, so the next thing I added was this little short crash just before the snare hits, makes the beat a lot more interesting. Okay guys, so then we have these hi-hats, have two different sounding hi-hats. And the second one coming in. To make this bass line, I use three layers. So I got this bass sound from plugin called ES2. Preset was called Real Fat. Second layer is playing the same exact melody. It just has a lot more mids. I got this bass sound from Retro Synth. The preset's called Heavy Punch Bass. So I did some EQing for this one. I cut out the low end because I have the third layer for that. Also from Retro Synth, heavy punch bass. Did some EQing for this one. Cut out the highs and the mids as I already have two previous layers for that. So I'm gonna show you the chords now. I use two layers. Right, so this sound is from Alchemy. Um, it's called Titanic Pluck, detuned. I did some EQing for this one. I cut out the highs. I thought it was too bright. So in the second layer, also playing the same chords. And this sound I got from Serum. So if you don't have Serum, you can definitely make the sound in ES2 or Retro Synth. So it's a very basic sound. Um, so you don't really need Serum, but if you have, these are the settings for the sound. So you can definitely copy them. Okay, so the last three tracks I have here are for the lead melody. So this is Alchemy preset, Spacey E piano. Also did some EQing, was too bright. The second layer, also Alchemy. And the third one is this one. I also added reverb for all of these tracks. Okay guys, so this is the chorus part of the song. Let's listen to it first.
When it comes to drums, they stay the same, except the kick is doing different pattern. The drums stay the same throughout the whole chorus. The bass line is the same three layers that I used in the intro part, just playing different melody. So this time, playing these little notes really fast, all three layers are doing the same. This is the bass line that you hear in the first part of the chorus. And in the second part of the chorus. When it comes to chords, they stay the same for the first part of the chorus. Second part, they sound like this. So then I added these little effects. Also added this cool guitar. I'm gonna show you the preset. I know that in the original track there was a guitar so I added this British combo synth lead which is like the basic stock sound that Logic has. I took this one and it worked so I left it there. So I also have this little guitar effect. I used the same British combo synth lead and I did like a pitch bend effect on it. Okay, so that's it for today. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, let me know in the comments what do you think of this remake. Are you planning to make one yourself? If you do, definitely drop a link. I'll check it out. I love to see these remakes. So, see you next time.